If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 ratings reveal video. And guys, today what we're going to be taking a look at are the top five strong safeties to start the season in Madden 17. I know I'm a day or so late on this one, guys, so I apologize. It's been kind of a crazy weekend and uh, early start to the week, but I did want to bring this to you guys because I know a lot of you guys have been commenting on my videos uh, for the top five players at their various different positions. I think we're having good discussions in the comment section, so let's keep that up today as well. Now, the other thing, guys, that I want to point out, as usual, is that these are not their ultimate team ratings, so don't get that confused. These are just the ratings that they're going to have to start the season for for your standard head-to-head -head modes and your franchise mode, things like that. So uh, don't be looking for these to be their Madden Ultimate Team attributes. They're probably going to be kind of in line with this, but we don't necessarily know that for sure. So with that being said, guys, let's go in and let's take a look at the top five strong safeties to start the season. Starting off at number five, and we've got the Green Bay Packers, Morgan Burnett, 85 overall. Now, this is actually quite low for a top five guy. It just goes to show you how kind of thin the strong safety position is right now in the NFL, or at least how they're being rated in Madden. I mean, a lot of these guys are going to be kind of low in comparison to what we've seen at pretty much every other position. But Morgan Burnett's a decent player here. Uh, I think there are some areas where he's pretty mediocre, though. Take a look at the speed and the acceleration 87 speed, 89 acceleration. Totally acceptable for a safety. I mean, if that was a coverage corner, we would be a little bit worried about that. But for like a safety, I don't have any problem with those being his attributes. I think that'll be fine for him to keep up with pretty much anybody. Most of the receivers aren't going to be much faster than this to start the year. And even the tight ends are, you know, obviously not going to be faster than that. So uh, I'm not too worried about his speed. The agility is solid at an 84. Man coverage, though. 75. I mean, granted, now I'm not going to say it's too bad because it's actually the highest of any of the guys on this list tied for the highest, I should say, but it doesn't seem that high, does it? And then you take a look at the zone coverage being an 83, and that definitely seems low. But again, it's actually the second best of any of the guys that we're going to look at today. So Morgan Burnett, despite those attributes really not being that high, is kind of considered to be a, a coverage safety. So I mean, you can definitely go in and, and assume that he's going to be the guy that you're going to want to kind of line up against the opposing team's tight end, just like he does in real life. Uh, he can also cover guys in the slot, though, uh, at wide receiver. So he's versatile. We do like that. And uh, like I said, guys, he is the first one out of this list for the top five strong safeties in Madden. Now moving on to number four, and we've got a guy that played for the Super Bowl champions, or continues to, I should say, TJ Ward. He didn't go anywhere. So uh, this one now is a an interesting one because I think that he, I believe, is the quickest of any of these guys. Yes, he is. So he actually has 88 speed along with 91 acceleration. So uh, he is the fastest pure speed guy on this list today. I don't know that he's actually going to be the fastest in the game. Uh, there might be some guy that's like a, a gold or a silver or something like that in the ultimate team that might have better speed but for the most part among the good safeties TJ Ward is going to be among the best now what's interesting here is that despite the fact that he's pretty quick his coverage attributes are not that great 70 for man coverage I mean that is pretty darn bad it really is that's the second worst among any of the guys that we're taking a look at today 82 zone coverage isn't spectacular either, so that's nothing to be really too excited about. It's not horrible, again, uh, but it's not great. So uh, the thing about TJ Ward and what they say in his little description on the Madden, Ult or the Madden website, I almost said Madden Ultimate Team, but on the Madden News website is that he's going to have really good attributes for playing the run which makes sense. He, he's a guy that can definitely do that, move up into the box and play against the run. So you like to have the speed and the acceleration to kind of bust through the line and make plays in the backfield. So that's something that he's going to be very good at. And I love the fact that he's got good speed and acceleration because if I'm usering him, even though he has those kind of mediocre, or, you know, decent attributes for coverage, I'm still going to be able to make the play myself. So that's one thing that I definitely do like about TJ Ward. Now moving on to number three, and this is the best pure coverage guy among the strong safeties. Um, alongside Devin McCourty on the opposite side of him. I mean, these guys are going to be a pretty damn good duo in this game. Oddly enough, Devin McCourty actually did not make the top five for free safety ranking, so that's kind of interesting. But Patrick Chung, an 86 overall. Again, that's three guys now. We're, we're at number three. The third best strong safety in the game to start the year is 86 overall. 
So that should tell you something, man. They're definitely lowering the overalls, at least on these strong safeties. But again, he's definitely somebody that can make some great plays in coverage. 75 man coverage is pretty damn good for a safety. And 86 zone coverage is very, very good. 92 acceleration along with 87 speed and he has the 82 agility to go along with it as well so you do like the fact that he's definitely uh, among the best coverage safeties in the game uh, at least at the strong safety position so that's definitely a nice thing and he's still going to have the ability I think to go up and make some plays on the run as well now at number two we've got a guy that is kind of just, in my opinion, a, a run support guy. I don't think his coverage attributes are good enough to make him somebody that I would really even want to put in any sort of man coverage, especially. That's Cam Chancellor of the Seattle Seahawks. Now, he is 91 overall, so that is a huge jump up from the 86 overall that we saw with Patrick Chung, but his attributes really aren't that much better, at least the ones that we see here. 87 speed and 87 acceleration, solid enough, not anything spectacular. 83 agility is right in line with everybody else, but that 67 man coverage is mediocre, dude. That is like the worst of any of the guys that we've seen so far by quite a bit, actually. It's three lower than even TJ Ward, and his 79 zone coverage is also three lower than TJ Ward, who is the other guy who's pretty damn bad in zone coverage. So, I don't know, man. I think Cam Chancellor's getting the kind of the shaft in this one. Despite the fact that he's a 91 overall, those attributes are awful. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I don't think that he's like particularly bad in coverage, so I think it's kind of interesting that they gave him such low attributes there. Now, in the comments below his description on uh, on the vi on the uh, graphic that they created, he actually is listed as somebody that has a very high hit power. We don't see the number. But we do know that he's going to be one of the hardest hitting safeties, which of course makes sense because he is Cam Chancellor. So uh, with that being said, let's move on to the number one strong safety in Madden 17 to start the year. And that is Rashad Jones of the Miami Dolphins. I think a lot of people are going to be caught off guard by this because this is a guy who hasn't been getting the hype, at least in kind of the mainstream. Cam Chancellor is typically the guy that you think of when you think of strong safeties. And yeah, he is the second best, at least in terms of overall strong safety in the game. But he is two behind Rashad Jones, who has a 93 overall 87 accelerate or 87 speed, excuse me, 89 acceleration with an 86 agility. His 86 agility is actually the highest of any of these guys. Uh, and the 87 speed and 89 acceleration is a good combination as well. It's not the highest, but it's definitely acceptable. Uh, but you take a look at the man coverage and zone coverage again, not really that great little bit better than Cam Chancellor, kind of pretty much right in line with TJ Ward. Um, so it's really not anything to be excited about as far as his coverage goes. But he's definitely a guy that can go up and make plays on the run as well. And the great thing about him is that I think he's probably going to be the most balanced strong safety in the game because he's going to be able to play against the run and he can still go back there with the decent speed and the acceleration and things like that. And I expect that he's going to have very high play recognition and very high awareness as well. So hopefully that'll kind of make it so that you don't have to use or control him on defense and he'll be able to make plays on the football. But guys, with that being said, those are your top five strong safeties to start the season for Madden 17. If you guys enjoyed this video, please help me out by pressing the like button below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. And guys, I want to hear from you in the comment section below. Let me know, is there any strong safety out there that you think should be on this list who didn't make it? Let me know in the comment section below and give me a reason why. Also, if you are going to leave a name down there below, I need you to tell me which one of these top five guys should not be in there in favor of your guy. Where would you rank him and who should get bumped off? With that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you so much for all the support. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, drop a like and subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.